My name is Jonathan Morris, and I'd like to welcome you all to our community conversation uh, number two. We, we just did one of these on July 10th, and we're thrilled to see some of you back again and to see some new faces that are joining us for the first time. So I've got some quick instructions for you and just to give you a little bit of context and then this event is about the community and every person in here giving feedback on what's important to them relative to the, um, the topic at hand and the questions that we'll put in front of you. So we really appreciate you being here. Turn to the person next to you and just tell them thanks for being here. And uh, tell them, uh, tell them I, I, I hope you brought your ideas. Say that. I hope you brought your ideas. <laughs> and then, um, and then I want you, to, then I want you to tell them we're not going to agree on everything, but I'm still glad you're here. All right. Um, well, all right. So just a couple of quick instructions for you. So our purpose here is really, really simple. It's to learn what's important to you as a community. So this is being hosted by the work group specifically to hear from the community. So that is the entirety of our of our discussion. It's not a big formal presentation and Q&A for five minutes at the end. It's you all having conversations throughout our time together. Uh, specifically to gather input from each person here. So every person here is here because they have some interest in this process and are concerned about the issues. And so we want to make sure that we allow for each person to have that opportunity to give feedback and input throughout. So to that end, the work group um, will be reviewing your inputs as they begin their, their uh, deliberations over the next few weeks. So our agenda is really simple. We're doing the welcome and the instructions. The majority of our time will be you all discussing as a community what's important to you. And then at the very end, we'll say a little bit about next steps and future meetings. Um, to get started, everybody's already jumped in. Um, we want you to be comfortable throughout. There's plenty of food back there. Use uh, The restrooms are out the hallway here, so when you need to take a break, just take a break. Otherwise, we're just going to keep it moving um, throughout. And uh, if you need anything, let us know. We want you to be comfortable. We want you to be engaged. We're going to be doing um, a few things right after this event over the next several weeks as a work group. That is compiling all the notes. We did one of these on July 10th. The community generated over 300 responses. Those are all available for your viewing on the city's, um, the community engagement portal for the community police oversight work group. I also have hard copies here if you're interested, but um, we generated all of that from the community. We're in the process of theming that, and all of that will be reported back to you as well. Um, then you have the, all the raw notes for your own uh, purposes. We'll be doing the same thing here. So throughout the evening, we're going to generate another few hundred comments. Um, after this, there will be updates to the portal, which is the, um, the, the place on the city's website that locates all the work that the Community Police Oversight Work Group is doing, including a recording of this and any re related discussion notes and key documents. Our next work group sessions will be August 14th, 21st, and 28th. And that's where the work group members will be reviewing all the ideas that you generated and um, beginning to draft recommendations over the next few weeks that will be presented to the city commission sometime in, I don't know exactly when, but over the next couple of months. Um, to that end, the um, the way we're going to be doing this is we're sharing at the table. Every idea that you have that's important to you, get it on a post-it note. Post-it notes will end up on the flip chart paper. All of that is imaged and then recorded and archived and then will be themed. 
So every person in here, by the time we're done, you'll probably have a good, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes individually at least to share what's important to you throughout the process. Um, what are just a few, few recommendations? Make sure that everybody gets it posted and post it up on your on your flip chart board uh, before anybody starts to share and make sure that each person gets to share at least their first post-it. And then if you've got 16 more things that you want to say, put them on post-its because it'll all be captured. So even if we don't get to every one of them, it's all going to be part of that uh, discussion and informing the work group as we go. Um, the, if you need any assistance at any point, just raise your hand, let me know. Our Jenny O'Brien is also here to help out as well. Just a few quick notes about just keeping it moving. Make sure each person is able to share, each person has a post-it. Step up, step back. So step up. If you're somebody who doesn't typically speak a lot of these things or is a little hesitant, this is your chance. We want to hear from you. Your input is important. If you talk all the time or talk too much, like I do, step back. Let others speak. Give, give space for that. You're going to hear some terminology or some concepts that maybe are new to you. These aren't easy questions. There are folks in the room who've been looking at this closely for years, and there's other folks in the room, and this might be the first time you've ever discussed this or maybe even heard of some things. We're all on a learning curve together, so wherever you're at on that, that's great. We're here to learn from each other and learn together. Um, listen to the point, not the package. Don't get hung up on who's saying it. We communicate in all different ways. Um, I ran a, a program in New York City for a number of years and did a lot of events where um, I was working with folks who were homeless, um, had mental illness, and would communicate in all kinds of different ways in all kinds of different venues. What's important is the essence of what people are communicating. So that's why I want you to write in your own words on the post-it what's important to you. And our job is just to capture all of that as we go forward. The work group, folks, the work group is not the CPRB. And we'll be talking about the CPRB and you'll learn more about it at your table. But the Community Police Review Board has been around since 2018, I believe, um, for the city. And this work group was tasked by the city commission to study a set of issues specific to the complaint process that as a community member, if you wanted to make a complaint about a police officer or the police department, that there's a process in place for doing that. And the work group is tasked with reviewing the existing process and making recommendations for improvement. The work group is also tasked with making recommendations broadly about the CPRB and the role of oversight um, relative to uh, community um, police engagement. So that is the purpose of our work here, and the work group is here to listen and learn from you to that end. Um, let the other tables do their thing. So each table is going to be having their conversation. So if you get done with a question and you're moving around, just be respectful of the other tables so that they can continue their conversation. Uh, keep it flowing. We've got a number of questions to get through, so we're gonna we're gonna keep the, the pace going, and I'll I'll prompt you when we're getting ready to move on to the next question. Be curious. Be curious about why people feel so strongly in the way that they do. That's how we learn from each other. Listen to learn. Agree or disagree. You're gonna hear some stuff that you don't agree with. That's great. That's fine. That's what this community is all about. And you'll hear some other stuff you never thought of before. But that's that's why we're doing this. And then thank others, be appreciative in all that's being contributed. Keep it flowing, help each other out. So scribes, if anybody's not comfortable writing, that's not your thing or you need assistance, just ask somebody else to help with, with that. But make sure they're writing your words, not theirs. We don't want to filter through and, and introduce bias in that way. So, um, and just keep the conversation flowing. We're going to spend probably about 10, 15, 20 minutes on each question. Just keep it moving. Um, make sure everybody gets a chance to contribute once before somebody else goes a second time. And then lastly, timekeeping will just kind of help keep it on track. We're going to go right up until 8 o'clock. We've got a lot to cover. And it's going to be, you're going to see that the, the pace will move along. But um, we've got important work to do. All right, um, at the end of each question, make sure that 
Everybody has gotten their post-its posted on the flip chart sheet, and then we're going to post those over here on the door. So at any point, if you want to see what all the other groups have generated, you have the opportunity to do that, take pictures, and then all of that will be typed up and available to you in the discussion notes. All right, last thing. Um, <clears throat> This is what we did the last time. We had between 50 and 60 people here, including work group members and community members. Um, all of these notes are already available on the city's website, um, along with pictures and things like that. If any of you do not want your picture taken for any reason, um, just let uh, Taylor know. Taylor works for the city. And, uh, and just be mindful of that. And then there's a couple of cameras that the city's using to record, and then the other cameras are just people's individual use um, for that. And the last thing, the work group members. So work group members are here to listen and learn. So this is their opportunity to listen to what's important to you. So they're not here to explain what their position is on a given issue or anything like that. They're gonna be waiting in deep to all those issues at our next few work sessions. But this is your time as a community to share what's important to you. So to that end, we've got specific discussion questions that are printed on the agenda that you'll have. And then um, the work group members at your table, they might prompt you with some follow-up just to understand a little bit better of where you're coming from or what's important to you. And that's part of their role um, as well. So um, let's see. The, um, all of these notes will be typed up and then um, they will be available for review. We'll try and get them uploaded by the beginning of next week once they're all compiled and then we'll organize them into themes. Um, I want you to share at your table what you love about Lawrence in the summer that you already posted up there. And then I'm going to give you instructions on your first, uh, first warm-up question.
means community police review board. So like that's Thank you. 
I don't know about the uh, 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 other thing for status. Professionalism is the public safety legal standards. People have your rights and virtual views to the person's rights to the extent that could be done. I think see what it's all done. They can't suck at that person is kind of a
say somebody else had an internet. Yeah. Am I protected? Is my information, my personal information, my investigation.
setting up those training for a lot of people that you know, there's a lot of mutual connections.
so we have a questionnaire that's that's live that's here we're going to be handing these out now if you scan the qr code it'll take you to the exact same questions that we've discussed today for key community conversation two it also has for those of you who weren't with us on july 10th the uh, questions that were discussed as a community on july 10th which we generated over 300 responses for um, if you have already responded to that and you're just interested in what your neighbors and, and uh, those others who already responded and said that's all available, I've got a few hard copies here, but it's all available on the city website. So we're passing these out now. Um, and if you have additional thoughts or ideas that you didn't get into the notes today that you want to contribute, that's also the way to do it. If you have really lengthy responses, you can go to the portal and click on submit feedback and you can do an extended um, extended contribution there. Uh, please thank everyone at your table for a very engaged discussion. I would like for you to do This will be typed up and available to you by early next week. And thank you again for coming, we really appreciate it. And if you wouldn't mind, please fold your chair. Tomorrow is the elections and we're using this space for a voting location. So if you don't mind, um, please also fold up your chair and throw it away. Thank you.